Aloha everyone, it's Keenan and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about construction management. So we'll first start off with what it is, what kind of courses you're going to take when you get a CM degree, what careers you'll typically start out with, and my own opinions on construction management in general, and how you can get your best start in a career in construction management. So be sure to stay all the way through for all of that. So if you're ready to go, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you can join our growing family here on YouTube. And now let's get into the video. So construction management, what is it? So this says construction management is a professional service that provides a project's owner with effective management of the project schedule, costs, quality, safety, scope, and function. What that mean? So the project owner is whoever's project this really is. They're usually the one that has the money, maybe some big developer of some land out there, or it could be just the school that you're trying to build on. So in a nutshell, this project owner wants to build something, but they might not have somebody in house that knows how to actually get that whole thing done. And that's where construction management comes in. Okay, so what is in a construction management degree? So I'll preface this by saying I don't have a construction management degree. I have a civil engineering degree. But there's enough people that work with me and there's Google out there that can tell me what a construction management degree typically looks like. And honestly, there's a lot of cool classes that a lot of construction management programs tend to cover. So you have your typical general requirement classes that pretty much every college requires you to take. And then you have all the different classes that show you about all the different parts of building a job. So you have construction methods, estimating, surveying, scheduling. You may even have some business classes because at the end of the day, construction is a business. But you shouldn't really need a business class to know that free money is great. And that's exactly what you're going to get in the form of two free stocks when you use my link below and sign up to Weeble and all you have to do is deposit $100 on their platform. And at the end of all of that, I see a lot of these construction management programs have some sort of capstone project, which I think is really good because that's pretty much what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. Some sort of construction project with a team of people. So what can you do with a construction management degree? So I would say that most people fall into these two categories. One is that you're going to work for some company that deals with the actual build of the project, similar to me working as a general contractor. And you'll be actively managing the building process of the job. You'll be responsible for the build. But this not only can be in the form of general contracting, you can be a subcontractor, you can do surveying, you can work for a scheduling consultant. But I would consider these people to be in the weeds of the project. You're supposed to know all the details of all the plans and specs to make sure that you're building the job correctly. And that's pretty much similar to everything that I've been telling you since I started making this channel. The second direction you can go with construction management is probably what I would more consider true construction management. So similar to the definition that I spoke about earlier, you're more of an advisor to the owner of the project as opposed to the one actually building the project. And this could range from anything from a home renovation to very large commercial projects. And your job is to represent that owner and facilitate conversations between all the different parties of a construction project. And that'll include the owner, of course, that'll include your designers, that'll include your contractor. And you as a construction manager are supposed to reel all these people together and make sure the job is done on schedule and on budget with the right anticipated amount of quality. And being in the midst of all these different parties, you can really be seen as the middleman on the job. But what's pretty cool about being in this role as opposed to working for a general contractor is that you are probably more intimately involved with all the different parties of the job. Whereas the general contractor, you're probably more focused on the people that are just building it, like your subs and your suppliers. Whereas when you work as a true construction manager, you're spending more time with the owner, you're spending more time with the designers. And those meetings tend to go a lot differently than the meetings that you have when you work as a contractor. And I think that gives you some pretty good perspectives of how the industry as a whole operates. And the construction industry in general is to me just a very exciting industry. So working as a construction manager is kind of cool because you don't have to deal with all the day-to-day -day, like ridiculousness that the job has to offer, but you're still engaged enough to be a part of the construction process, just not down to every little detail. So that can be kind of good for some people. But to me, you're definitely not expected to be as much in the field as someone that works for a contractor. Honestly, probably if you're a construction manager and you're always in the field, there's probably something going on wrong in the job. So when you work in construction management, you can make some pretty good connections. It, you, it's still a pretty exciting job because you get to manage all the things on the job site and you get paid some pretty decent money coming out of school with just a bachelor's degree. So what makes a good construction manager? And this is coming from me who works for general contractors, so my opinion may be a bit skewed, but I'll try to be as impartial as I can. So to me, the best construction managers are the ones that are firm, fair, and consistent. 
firm because you have to establish yourself as some form of authority. You want to be seen as a figure of respect when you're working as a construction manager amongst everybody else in the job. You don't want to be seen as just the third party guy that's helping the owner. You want to be seen as an actual partner in the process. Fair is another big one as well. And it becomes pretty tough when the owner is the one that technically pays you and hired you for this job. But to me, your role as construction manager is you're supposed to be fair to all parties, not just the one that's paying you. The line gets pretty hard to see when that's the case though sometimes. And consistent. Consistency is key. The last thing that anybody wants is a construction management firm that seems to be going in one direction and then completely changes the way that they operate the next day. Our all parties, the owner, designer, and contractor, want to make sure that the construction manager on the project is, is always thinking the same way. You want to be able to have some sort of consistency so that people can know what to expect. And also speaking on behalf of general contractors, it would be really awesome if construction managers had the field of expertise and the background in the state that you are working in. To me, there's nothing worse than anybody that makes decisions on behalf of the owner that truly can't sympathize and understand what the contractor is going through. Especially in a state like Hawaii where you have a lot of developers from the mainland coming in, they don't understand how some of the local culture works. They don't understand that there's only so many players in the market. So sometimes they can't come to grips with the way things are here. And sometimes we as contractors kind of expect the construction manager on the project to manage those expectations. And if they're poorly managed, it usually ends up leading to an unhappy client, which is bad news for everyone. And also when it comes to getting paid or managing changes, when the construction manager on site has that field knowledge, it takes less effort on the contractor's part to have to basically fight for every penny. If the construction manager can substantiate on their own any submitted costs or any sort of bids, things like that, we don't have to keep defending ourselves. Well, that's why, again, considering the construction manager is paid by the owner, the owner doesn't really want to spend more money, right? So it's sort of like a conflict of interest type of deal. And that's why a really fair construction manager and a very consistent one, it works both ways. So in general, what I've seen is that the better construction managers have actually come from the contracting side. And that leads me nicely to my next point. A good construction manager can call a contractor out on their bullshit. And I'm sure the owner loves all of that. Because, and I hate to admit, there probably are some pretty shady contractors out there. And that's probably the whole reason why construction management even exists in the first place. If there's complete trust from the owner that the contractor would just do their job and they wouldn't try to screw them out of any money, wouldn't need a middleman. But that's not the world we live in, so that's the construction manager's job to make sure that everything is substantiated. So the really good construction managers can call out the contractor and just make sure that the owner is not going to be taken advantage of. To a point, remember, you always want to be fair. And lastly, and I sort of talked about this when we talked about being firm, is that you just want to be empowered. I've seen construction managers on jobs where they're just kind of there where they're just a member of the party, but they're not actually contributing. You don't want to be that. At the end of the day, if you're working for the construction management firm, you would want the owner, contractor, and architect to say, hey, really glad they were on the project. We really needed them. But that's harder to come by than you might think. So you want to be able to have a say, you want to be empowered to make some decisions on behalf of the owner. And to me, that really comes down to the amount of knowledge that you have in the industry and being experienced enough to provide really good value to the project. So if you have any more questions on construction management or if you think I should expand on any ideas that I presented here, please feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to reply to you. And at the end of the day, if you're still confused about which way to go, general contracting is always a great place to start. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you can join our growing family here on YouTube. And don't forget to use my link below and get your two free stocks from Webull. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video.